95.5, Tulsa's new country leader. It's all about the timing, all right? <laughs> this is the time Blake sh- Oh, look at that. The line's ringing. All right, good, 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 good timing. Let's answer it. A- act professional, Kate, as we answer here. Okay. Good morning, K95. Hey, is this Matt? Matt Bradley. Hey, man, it's Blake. How you doing, man? Pretty good, buddy. Kate, say hi. Hello. All right, now don't talk anymore. Hi, oh, Kate. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you up to, man? Man, today I'm in... Uh... I'm out here in, in uh, California. We got a show tonight in uh, Fresno, Ooh. and then we head to Palm Springs, and then Arizona, and then uh, everything's leading to the Tulsa show. I mean, let's just be honest. Tulsa, Dang right. all roads lead to this show we're doing there. But this one's going to be different. It's I mean, good, we, yeah. get, we get the special. So not cool. only is it the last stop, but it's you've gone all out for this all for the hall show. You want to talk about that a little bit? Uh, hell yeah, I do, man. It's, <laughs> you know, it's funny because, you know, we. The, the the Hall of Fame uh, approached me, and they've never done one of these All for the Hall shows outside of Nashville, and so they they kind of wanted to, to expand and go out and, and hit the road with it and asked if I would do one for them, and, and obviously I was happy to do it. What I've been surprised about is, you know, even even with my own friends and family, you know, when the show was, was announced, they were like, well, what is that? I mean, is that something... <laughs> Do you think we would want to go to, or is it like some sort of a you know dinner or a, an awards thing? And I was like, oh God, no, no, it's none of that. And, <laughs> and it's, it's surprising because when you step back from it, you kind of realize, yeah, it does kind of look like some kind of a ceremony or yeah. something maybe. Uh, but really, all it is is, is a jam night. I mean, uh, you know, I'm going to get out there obviously and, and do my thing, and and uh, we've got a ton of guests that are going to come perform. And it's just a concert, is all it is. It's basically. A, a little mini music festival that we're packing into the arena and, and doing it all in three hours or however long the, the show ends up being with, with all these different artists doing their own hits and uh, it's just going to be a really special night and, and uh, when we've got Ronnie and, and Vince and, and we had we had some uh, uh, other artists that were going to, uh, Toby Keith was actually going to be a part of, of the show which you know yeah. sadly we lost yeah. Toby, but that's how far back this goes and we how long we've been putting it together and uh and so it's just going to be a really special night that that benefits the hall of fame country music hall of fame but uh also celebrates artists from oklahoma at the same time which is as you guys know living there i mean it's it's a it's a deep deep well of, of incredible artists that have come from from our home state and and uh there's a, there's a pride in that you know absolutely, absolutely there yeah. is and i'm i'm so excited that you made it an oklahoma focused yes. show and they the bok center there asked us to help out with the street party and we were able to get kylie morgan to come yeah. play who's like heck yeah i'll come home and play so <laughs> I mean that 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 just makes it so much fun, and we're really looking forward to wow, it. Wow, that's amazing! I, I I didn't I had no idea that that Kylie was was uh, from Oklahoma. I obviously, know who she is, and I think she she's either engaged to or or married a contestant uh, from The Voice that was on both Gwen and I's team a few seasons ago. Yes. But I had no idea she was from Oklahoma. Well, or she lied to get into no, the show one way or the no. other. No, so. she's from Newcastle, <laughs> and I think they just that's got married like last year. Or something, okay, all right. so. you're saying so she didn't lie. Okay, no, good. she didn't lie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bust her right now here. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right gosh. man well hey um I, I know you're busy doing your thing in california but i gotta i gotta ask while you're on the phone when, <laughs> when's the old red tulsa gonna open right oh my god wouldn't that be incredible i actually think tulsa would be a uh, an incredible place for it. i mean it has its own music scene and just a cool you know downtown area i love last time i was in tulsa i was i was actually driving around showing gwen i was like look at this man i mean there's the old canes <laughs> ballroom and and uh and so it actually would be. I'm going to go talk to the to the big dogs at, at Ryman and, and tell them you said that. Maybe they'll cut you in on it. There yeah, we go. That's so good. I'm, I'm yeah. hearing Tulsa's I'm, the next location. I'm, I'll be watching my uh, phone real close for that phone call. <laughs> you I'm telling you, if this happens, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to be like, Matt, look. <laughs> <laughs> well, well I, mean, I appreciate you guys uh, talking about the show. I mean, li- listen, I, I mean, I, I don't know, you know, how long you guys have been country music fans. I have been, you know, since I can remember since I was a little kid. And, and the idea that I'm going to be uh, standing there on the side of the stage watching Ronnie Dunn sing Boot Scoot and Boogie or, oh, yeah. or yes. Neon Moon or, or whatever songs he decides to do that. And I'm not trying to put songs in in his mouth. I have no idea what he's going to decide to do, but I mean, 
he's a Hall of Famer himself. Vince Gill is a country music Hall of Famer himself. I mm-hmm. mean, yeah, uh, he's one of the greatest. Uh, Wade Hayes, I, 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 I've lost track of, of who all is even going to be on the show <laughs> at this point because uh, I know it was a it was a long list and there were other potential artists coming. So I don't want to leave people out. I know you guys probably have the current up to date list, but it's going to be a one of a kind night. And, and in my opinion, at least for me, it's going to be a historic night to get uh, all of us Okies up there together and perform. And, and it's literally nothing more than a party. So I know that there's still tickets available. I, w- I would advise it, going and getting them now, especially after, uh, you know, trying to clear the air about what this thing is, because I, trust me, I've sat through many a banquet uh, in, in my life and going, what in the hell am I doing here? You know, this is murder. Yeah. Uh, but that is not what this is. This is just a concert with all different artists. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a very memorable experience. Yes. BOK Center, Saturday night. Blake, dude, we know you're a busy guy. We so appreciate you stopping by and, and taking a few moments to call us this morning. And uh, next time you're in Tulsa, give us a holler, man. You got it. I love you guys. I appreciate you. All right. We'll see you at the show. Thank you.